हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन लैब इन लास्ट लैब वी हैव सीन द पीसीएम इनकोडर एंड डिकोडर एक्सपेरिमेंट इन दिस लैब वी विल सी द टीडीएम दैट इज टाइम डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एंड डीप मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग दैट इज रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द सिग्नल सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एंड मल्टीपल एक्सेस सो इन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग we are combining the multiple signals into one and transmit this combined signal through a single channel but in multiple access we are accessing the same channel for transmission for multiple signal without combining so here in this case we are using the technique or scheme to access the channel that is in multiple access case frequency time or code so when we are using the frequency we are transmitting the uh, our message uh, multiple message signal to multiple frequencies and when we are uh, using the time so we are transmitting the signal at uh, multiple separate time that is in the uh, first time slot we are transmitting signal 1 and the second time slot we are transmitting signal 2 and so on and when we are using the code it is uh, when uh, we are using the different code for different signals so in multiple uh, multiple access there is a, you uh, by using the frequency time and code but in multiplexing we are combining the signal first and uh, transmit through a single shared medium and we are extracting the signal one by one so in this lab we are going to see the multiple access not multiple access it was multiplexing and demultiplexing so let's first go to the black diagram of this experiment here you can see this is two different uh, signal one is 1 kilohertz sine wave the second one is 2 kilohertz sine wave we can combine uh, more than two that is 3 4 5 but uh, here in this uh, kit that is imona telecom trainer 101 only uh, uh, the two sine wave are uh, present so we can using uh, not the sine wave we are using the tdm in this you can see here is pcm encoder but there is pcm and tdm when the switch is uh, our switch is uh, from pcm to D uh, tdm so it is uh, this uh, block is working as a tdm so there is only two inputs available here input 1 and 2 in as you can see so here we can give only two inputs but in uh, matlab you can use the multiple inputs like uh, or 3 4 5 etc so here we are using two inputs and combining them using tdm block and we are using the clock frequency as 100 kilohertz then this block is actually uh, here in uh, it is written pcm encoder but when the switch is uh, gone to tdm it works as the tdm encoder and this block is tdm decoder and the tdm decoder decoder output is uh, goes to the uh, low pass filter input and uh, we can reconstruct the signal and we can take the out from the low pass filter and uh, we uh, that will be output uh, for the this experiment so here in pcm decoder there is fs that is frame synchronization signal pcm data here actually it is tcm uh, tdm data and there is clock frequency and output actually this is output 1 and this is output 2 so what the input has given in uh, input 1 and input 2 we have combined the input into one and we have sent from tdm encoder to tdm decoder and then we are extracting one by one so this is first input which are given at the input 1 this is input output uh, this is output 1 this is output 2 which are given at uh, input 2 so we will see this so here as we can see one uh, we have to use 1 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz so in uh, master signal there is a 2 kilohertz sine wave available but 1 kilohertz is not there so we have to generate 1 kilohertz sine wave from this uh, vco oscillator voltage control oscillator so this is sine wave of uh, we are here from here we are generating sine wave and this sine wave can be controlled by frequency and gain so we can control the gain of this sine wave and frequency so we have to choose the 1 kilohertz frequency for this sine wave for uh, uh, 
combining the uh, uh, signal so i have connected this sine wave to the oscilloscope uh, as you can see and one ground this is the output this is the sine wave here you can see here in this part the frequency is triple eight point six one it is fluctuating somewhat because the circuit is uh, working in uh, in working condition so it's not fluctuation is not much but it is at eighty eight at eighty nine according but uh, we have to generate one kilohertz signal of sine wave so this frequency can be also measured by using here a, in this uh, as well one is uh, button is measure so when you press this measure everything about this signal amplitude frequency etc peak to peak amplitude maximum amplitude minimum amplitude and uh, every features can be shown here so from here you can see the frequency it is 874.9 hertz so we have to increase the frequency to uh, get the 1 kilohertz frequency so let's come to the vc oscillator here is the frequency we can uh, we are increasing the frequency from here and here you can see the changes it is 966 now we are increasing more 994 now it is 1.0 something but uh, we cannot uh, generate exactly 1 kilohertz because uh, uh, the tuning frequency is very fine so it is uh, nearly 1.0 something 1 kilohertz so when we press in the auto set it is showing like this and when we press measure it is showing the frequency 1.0506 that is 1 kilohertz nearly so we are going to use this 1 kilohertz frequency from this generated vco and uh, the 2 kilohertz uh, sine wave frequency from the master signal so so for the first experiment which is tdm multiplexing time division multiplexing i have taken this uh, sine wave 1 kilohertz to input 1 of this uh, TDM encoder and I have taken the 2 kilohertz sine wave from the master signal to the uh, uh, input 2 of this uh, TDM here is the switch which I am saying it is PCM in TDM when you uh, rotate from PCM it works at the PCM and this when this will uh, this switch is uh, around the TDM it works as the TDM circuit block so I have taken two inputs one is one kilohertz one is two kilohertz sine wave i have given the clock frequency to the uh, tdm encoder for, uh, which is 100 kilohertz i have taken the clock frequency 100 kilohertz because when we are uh, passing the uh, output of this uh, uh, tdm uh, multiplexing to the this uh, tunable low pass filter so we uh, don't have to worry about the uh, cutoff frequency of this signal because the separation of uh, um, the signal output signal will be very high so the cutoff of the frequency is not so important that's why i have taken 100 kilohertz digital signal here now the output of this uh, time, time division multiplexing have shown here and sorry cro this uh, signal i have taken 2 kilohertz sine wave which is from this master signal and this is the TDM output so you can see here here the mixture this one is the mixture of the signal 1 as well as the signal 2 and some this is the distortion at every as you can see here the distortion in every pulse there is distortion because here we are using two signals at a time so this is not uh, very sharp there will be distortion because of the addition of two signal so this is the first part that is a uh, tdm type division multiplexing now we will reconstruct this uh, signal from uh, one by one here this is the output i have already told i will take output one and output two separately one by one so for the first part i have taken the output one at this time and i have given to the output one to the low pass filter input and the output of low pass filter is given to the oscilloscope and at the channel one and at the channel two i have given this uh, sign signal so let's 
see I have pressed auto set so actually this is the original signal which I have given 1 kilohertz from uh, the VCO this one and the second one is reconstructed signal that is demultiplex signal so you can see the frequency 1.04 but it is not clear this frequency is from channel 1 or 2 so you can just press measure so this is showing source channel 1 and here the frequency is 1.04 zero three zero four near about which is the uh, first which is the original signal I had mm, that was expected so you can change the source to channel 2 by using this button here the channel 1 and channel 2 and math so to go channel 2 here is a variable yeah it's now channel 2 and press here press select so it's now changed to channel 2 and the channel 2 frequency is also the same 1.0304 near about 1 kilohertz so the reconstruction of one first one is 1 kilohertz signal is very accurate so now we will see the second uh, that is 2 kilohertz the 2 kilohertz sinusoidal signal are perfectly reconstructed or not so now we will take the output from out 2 so I have changed this output now 2 and the second one is I will take this from this 2 kilohertz sine wave now press auto set let's see As you can see this is the original signal and this is the reconstructed signal here the frequency is uh, 2 kilohertz so mm, let's press measure there is a channel 2 selected and the frequency of channel 2 is 2.08 which is 2 kilohertz here is kilohertz we can change the channel from here we can choose the first channel and uh, choose the channel one so this frequency is also 2.0608 so what we have seen from here the uh, reconstruction is very accurate so what we have done first i have taken the first signal let's come to the block diagram now i have taken the first signal 1 kilohertz the second uh, signal sinusoidal signal 2 kilohertz I have combined these two signals into one and I have sent through the TDM multiplexing using a clock frequency and after uh, here we have shown the output of that then there is decoding part that is uh, TDM decoding which is extracting the uh, signal from one by one so their output uh, actually here output 2 is uh, only shown but there is uh, two output available that is uh, output 1 and output 2 because we have taken two inputs one input 1 and input 2 at input 1 we have given 1 kilohertz signal and input 2 we have given 2, two kilohertz signal so we at the output we require 1 kilohertz signal and 2 kilohertz signal uh, at the same time but at the different output port so here output 1 has given the 1 kilohertz signal which I have given the input 1 and output 2 given the I have given the 2 kilohertz signal sinusoidal signal as I have verified in oscilloscope that output 2 has given the 2 kilohertz signal so what we have done we have mixed or uh, combined the two signal into one and we have sent through a single channel and at the output we have extracted the both signal one by one that is uh, we have extracted the both, both signal that is uh, uh, very clearly so here in multiplexing we are combining the signal and uh, sending through a single channel and we are extracting the signal but in multiple access when uh, we are uh, uh, dividing the uh, single channel into some parts like frequency so if we are uh, talking about the multiple access 
multiple signals are present and uh, we have to send the multiple signals through a single single channel so we divide this channel into different type of frequency like uh, a single uh, bandwidth is uh, 2 kilohertz so we have divided the 1 kilohertz 1 kilohertz so we have sent the uh, uh, input 1 to the lower part of the 1 kilohertz frequency of the channel and uh, on, uh, 2 kilohertz signal to the higher part of the frequency of the channel so the actually the source resource is uh, dividing in the multiple axes and uh, when we are using the uh, time resource that means that we are using the separate time for the uh, signal one we are using uh, like uh, first 10 uh, 10 millisecond and uh, the for the signal two we are using the uh, after 10 second that is from 10 to 20 millisecond so we are separating in time that's uh, that is multiple axis of this single resource but here we are combining first and we are using the same mm, channel and we are transmitting and we are extracting the uh, both uh, which is multiple uh, input at the output so that was the tdm multiplexing and uh, deep multiplexing experiment which i have explained i think if you have any confusion in you can ask so thank you